Well, Matt Griffin, thanks so much to, for, to you for coming to talk to us on North Carolina Book Watch about your wonderful debut novel, Hyde. Thank you. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about your writing the book and about what you've learned about writing that you could share with other aspiring writers. Yeah, you know, I think the two thing, the two biggest pieces of advice that have been helpful to me, which are some, maybe a little bit contradictory, um, one is to really make the time to do it every day. Um, and, and right to think of writing as a job and sit down and put in the time at the desk even if you don't feel like doing it that day. Um, why? why? Why would you want to do uh, work when it's not productive? Well, yeah, and, and, and that's the tough thing. I think, and, and I think it varies for uh -huh, everyone, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. And I, I think the, uh, one of my biggest pieces of advice also is just like never listen to anyone. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> but I, I think for me, it's e. I don't think that inspiration is the thing that just sort of hits you out of nowhere. I think that for myself, I, I have to work to find inspiration um, and that I get to the good writing by doing the bad writing. Um, and, and that also writing, you know, like anything, is, is sort of a muscle and you have to keep it exercised um, in order to, to, to do it at your best. I think. The best writing is a kind of, for me when I'm really immersed in the work is a kind of very very intense and sustained state of concentration, and concentration I think is something that you that you build and practice and work on over time. Well, um, you made the analogy that athletes are to uh, practicing and exercising and doing things that prepare you to write. But are most writers, are, well, I'm asking, I guess I'm asking you, do you have some exercises and some unfocused uh, to, uh, writing that you do that's unfocused on what your job is to sort of keep you in shape? You know, I don't really. And this is the part that, of this advice that I think is really contradictory, um, which is that I also try really hard not to force anything. Uh -huh. um, and so, right, this idea of like putting the work in but also not forcing things is a balance I'm always trying to, to reach. When, right, when I'm writing, even when I'm working on a project, I most of the time try to just sit down at my desk and, and write about whatever interests me that day. Mm. Um, and, and so I guess in that way, yeah. it is sort of a thing that, yeah. that, that keeps the words coming. Um, and, and, right, and when I'm working on a book, then usually whatever I'm writing is, is a part of the book. Um, but I try not to, to, to make myself write a scene or a chapter or anything that doesn't feel alive to me on a particular day. Well, well uh, you've also taught writing. And some writing teachers have their mantras. Did you have uh, some things that you felt like every one of your students needed to know in order to be, have the possibility of being oh. a good writer? You know, I, I think I don't have as many mantras as I would like. I think it's, I, I wish I had sort of short little things yeah. that, that work for everyone. Um, I, it's something I try to do a, as a teacher is, is take each piece of writing on its own. Um, and I think that makes it harder to, right, to, to, to come up with a mantra that helps everybody. Um, you know, it can also be a little bit exhausting and tough to, to yeah. figure out what every, right, every single writer needs. But I think, I think that's how you help people do their best so you, work. So you view yourself more as a mentor rather than as a lecturer or a teacher with uh, formulaic ways to approach writing. Yeah, I think so. I think, I, I think formulas and things like that can, can sort of help people become good writers. But I think if you want, if, right, if I want to be a great writer or I want a student to be a great writer, I think right, w what any person needs to become a great writer is a lot more idiosyncratic and often strange um, than, than a mantra would, would help get us do. Well, that's a good way to end our conversation. Be strange. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's also my biggest piece, of, biggest piece of advice is be strange. Yeah. Thank you, Matt Griffin. Thank you.